Hello Taurus and welcome to me Tarot Al. Today we're going to be doing your weekly reading. It's going to be for the week of March 28th into the first week of April. So, um, yeah. Let's shuffle your cards a few more, one more time, I'm sorry, one more time here. It's a general reading of course, so take what you can and leave the rest go behind. And let's see what the cards are bringing forward to you to answer your question or give you confirmation um, on a question that you already know the answer of. And you just want to see uh, you want to see what the universe is saying of such. So let's begin. We have the Aries here. I mean Emperor. Well, Aries. We have the uh, power of Aries and the Emperor coming to you in the beginning of this week here. Um, and the emperor is all about um, being diligent and uh, following the rules, getting your work done, you know, getting stuff done, but doing it the right way. You know, he's got a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom in this card. Look at that nice long white beard he has. That's all about uh, wisdom and authority. The way he is sitting is very authoritative. Very authoritative. It's a bunch, you know, he's got he's got all these rams. You know, he represents Aries. So there may be an Aries uh, in your week. Um, you know, coming forward to you in this week. Or you know of someone that's very authoritative and wise, likes things done, um, you know, perfectly. Likes things done perfectly. Doesn't take shortcuts. And uh, he can be he can be a little mean though, you know. If you don't follow the rules, if you don't follow the rules precisely, uh, he will come down on you. You know, he can he can bring you a rough time. With these, with these rams, you know, you can ram those. He'll butt you and butt you and ram you and get you back on your right path. So let let's see what your other cards are representing here, along with this emperor. We have the three of swords here. And the ten of then you have the ten of cups. You have the ten of cups. So what I'm feeling here, this emperor is coming through to you, coming forward to you, and, and telling you, and you, he's he's using his authority, he's using his wisdom and his authority here. This could also be an Aries that's going to be, uh, you know that that you stand up, you know that you stand up to authoritative figure and of an, an Aries. He's going to tell you, and he's going to let you know that um. He's going to take those rams and he's butting up against you. And he's uh, telling you, because this here is a, is a heartache, you know. This is heartache. This is heartache card, a card of heartache. Sometimes it's just the, sometimes though it is just the, the pressure and pain you put upon yourself against your own heart from your thoughts, you know. But, um. I'm getting this as a, a, a relationship reading here. There's a relationship uh, that's breaking, that has broken your heart. Um, it's it's raining, the clouds are gray, it's raining. You know, you're kind of like drowning in your sorrows here. You're very heartbroken. This guy, this Aries here, this, this Aries, this powerful... Uh, it could be just like a mentor coming after you. I mean, maybe this was just a loss of a job. This is a loss of some sort that was very tremendously heartbreaking for you. And uh, this, this emperor here is bringing his wisdom and his knowledge to you and telling you, you know, he wants to bring you, he's giving you advice. This person, this said person wants to give you the advice, giving you the agility to, uh, to stand up on your feet again, stand up on your feet again. Stand up on your feet again and, and move on. And just move on. Just move on because 
in your near future then you look here you have you have the beautiful ten of cups the beautiful ten of cups there is peace and serenity and love in the world out there you can have all this you can have all this splendidness all these cups up in the rainbow full of love and light and joy peace security you know you have companionship there's a family here there's companionship there's joy um, there's security and safety in, in the house you know the beautiful rainbow full of wishes and dreams all this you know this can all be possible this is what this emperor or this this person is trying to um, is bringing forward to you and telling you you know the past is the past now. I'm sorry this has happened, you know. And uh, pull those swords out. Pull those swords out. You know, get out of your sorrow. Get out of your sorrow. Get out of that sorrow here. Let this rain now, instead of drowning you, let it clear you. Let it clear you. Let that rain wash away. Push, wash it all down the drain. Wash all that, that emotional... All that emotional... Uh, heartache and and waterfalls tears you know wash let it wash away it's good to get it out but uh you gotta let it go you gotta let it go you know because he's look at him here he's orange orange is for creativity yellow's for creation you've got the red for fire and passion and love wisdom this also can be also as well be uh, representing you and telling you to remember all these remember all these uh, good traits of it are within yourself as well um, because this is you know th this is pop this is very possible here you got clouds and rain clouds and rain clouds and rain the sun's gonna pop up <laughs> comes the rainbow you know the world's well, the world's not gonna end here the world's not going to end there's still beauty. There's still beauty out there in relationships. So, uh, you know, to take the power, take this power from this emperor. There you have. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some hard work, of course. You know, but again, he, this, this person here, he's walking with all those wands, all those new sparks. You know, all of those twigs, all those new sparks of passion. And he's walking towards the city. And he's walking towards the city. He's going to get to where he's going soon, to the safety of the city. He's going to get out there to the safety, or the safety to the farmland, you know, the home. He's going to get there. He's going to get there. It may be take you a while. It may be a, a little back-breaking, but... Um, But you know, if you pull those swords out of your heart and don't be so ooh hunched over and be so glum, you you're back, you know, it's gonna straighten out. It's gonna you're gonna get there. You're gonna get there. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. This this uh card is all about enjoying the abundance of life. Enjoying uh enjoying the uh, enjoying animals, being out in nature. Start to enjoy yourself. It's spring now, right? Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Get out of these gray clouds. Get out of that gray cloud. And here comes the devil. Here comes the devil. Now it's your uh, last card over here. Okay. Now this said person here, or this situation here that so heartbroken, so heartbroken. Um, he may be trying, he may be trying, or she, he, who, them. Well, maybe trying, maybe trying to come back and try to manipulate, manipulate you back into their life. Why? Because they're they're seeing now. They're seeing how you're moving on. You know, you're you're out of this. You're out of this state. You know, you're out of that state of. Oh me, oh my -ish. You're starting to move on. You're starting to move on. So you may be coming back, trying to manipulate you a little bit. But you know, if you 
take the power and the energy from this emperor here. Use your wisdom. Use these rams. You know, you got four rams. You got four rams in this picture. The devil only has two horns, right? Look at all this power and energy that you hold within yourself. You hold all this power within yourself. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You've got the power of the stamina. You know, for this person here, um, as well as your, you know, that I was saying, this could just be an Aries uh, coming through to you as a mentor and, and helping you get through this. You know, remember to take the advice and listen to listen to them. You can get rid of. You can just, you know, don't pay no attention to this one. Don't pay no attention. Because here's a 10. You know, here, here's the 10. You know, all that hard work is going to pay off. This is a 10. Situation closed. Situation gone. And then he tries, to, then this prayer said person or situation is trying to squeeze its, worm its way back in. It's trying to squeeze itself back in. Um, so let, let's see, let's see, let, let's pull a card for this devil down here. Let's, let's see, um, let's see what kind of power, let's see what kind of, let's see what kind of power energy is on to him. Let's, let's check this out here. Let's see if uh, this reading can clarify that. Let's get some clarification on this, on this devil character here. Okay. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Here's the King of Pentacles. This king... <laughs> this king is uh, all about all about security, all about security, all about the having enough abundance, having enough of everything that he needs. It's all about security, job security, uh, materialistic security. He's everything he's ever. This king's got everything he's ever needed and ever have, will have. He's got it all. You see. And look, he's even got um. He's got he's got bulls. Now he has horns as well. He's got uh, he has four bulls. He's got Taurus on his side. This one's got to this king of pentacles got pentacles has Taurus. Isn't that well, here you are. Well, here you are. This is Taurus, right? Yeah, here you are. You're in your full abundance. You're in your full glory. You know how you know how you are. You know how Tauruses are, right? They're like the emperor. They're kind of like an Aries, right? They want their no, but they go for what they get. You know, they go. You go and you go out there and you get what you want. You're a little bit stubborn at times, but, you know, your stubbornness pays off. Because look at all this abundance. Look at all this beauty. All this abundance. You know. So, yeah. Th this devil is trying to... Well, this person, said person, is going to try to weasel his way in. Like I said, snake in. You know, come come sneaking in like a snake or worming his way back in because he sees he sees or she sees now she sees how happy and how wonderful you can how wonderful you are all your glories and all your rich riches you know don't let this manipulator don't let this manipulating heartbreaking uh, situation or person you know come back in take the power of take the power of you know Take the horns. Take the horns from the emperor, from Ares, the ram, and from you, from your, from the, um, from the bull here. You know? You know? Take control. Take control. Take control of your, for yourself. Don't let this, don't let this manipulator, heartbreaking, cheater, liar, whatever the situation is, don't let this said person... Bring, bring you all this rain again. Bring all this rain and our dark clouds into you. You want that rain. You want that beautiful rainbow. You want the beautiful gardens with the abundance. 
like I said though, here's the 10. It's going to be take some work to do this, but you know, this situation, you know, the situation is coming is coming going to come to an end soon because this is a number 10, okay? All right, Taurus. King of Pentacles you are. <laughs> if you're a female, well, that's your masculine side to you. You're still the king. You're still top notch, right? <laughs> All right. You have a wonderful day, and I thank you, and see you again. Bye.